In sync, uh, yeah, or Backstreet Boys 98 Degrees, maybe back. So, something like that. Back, well, sleaze back. All right, we're back after our hiatus. Here we are. It only, it only took a year, but we're finally <laughs> doing more. Let's we're, we're finally doing the easiest videos that we could possibly do. <laughs> yeah, sitting but, and pushing buttons, but we put it off for a long time. I don't know why because, because we're not. It gets it gets boring and it's a lot of work. Yeah, that's true. But I'll go pick, hard. I'll pick skate so you guys don't yell at me because uh, otherwise I'd be getting every fifteen comments this video. Trendram, <laughs> you did not pick skate. We uh, picked the ones the characters that are most physically resembling, resembling us. ourselves. Myself being a child with rollerblades. That Myself being also a, is a martial artist. A blonde hunk who looks just like Keith Abigary. Yeah, same same hair, same, same hair, same muscles, same jeans, same, same. shoes. He really does look like Keith. Look at his clothes. I mean, not really. I, I mean, it's pretty skin. much exactly the same. I mean, I wear shorts and rollerblades and stuff, but I mean, that doesn't Is look there like friendly good. fire in this? Yep, there yeah, is. Yeah, there is. One of the most annoying things about the 90s, beat him up some friendly fire. Yeah. I don't like that very much. <laughs> look at him. Well. I'm dancing, I'm dancing. As you can see, we're playing Streets of Rage 2. The one and only game to ever play in any Let's Play, really. Yeah. This is my all-time favorite Sega Genesis game. Maybe, it probably, it's, it's probably of, my list of top ten games ever. It's one of the best ones. Best games ever. Like, modern consoles, old consoles, in my opinion. I, uh, I bought Dang, the, man, it worked on me. <laughs> I, uh, I had my dad buy me this when I was in high school. I ah, my, I wasted that energy. No one's that. When I was in high school, I had my dad order me the uh, soundtrack to this. Oh, I never really. Yeah, from, that's the thing I never like thought like, about. From some like Japanese website. I never knew about. Um, Can I eat that apple? Or also, what? websites weren't a thing when I was a kid. Well, you didn't have a computer until like five years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. Keith Abigail edited on. Before uh, that, you were editing at the Medway. Beta, you were, beta cable access. You're, yeah, you were editing at Medway Cable Access before that. On VHS C cameras. Yeah, I remember that. I remember I. Uh, I broke a camera bag there because I used it. Like we, I filmed a backyard wrestling show with uh, the guys from Gameslane, and like you were in some of that stuff too. Yeah, yeah, Palm Nathan, Tree Willie. Nathan was a backyard wrestler was, for a while. My wrestling character's name was Palm Tree Willie. You had another guy called the Jerk. Oh really? That's a good one. I like that. You don't remember that? No, I don't the really remember that. You, I remember it because you said that uh, the Jerk was just you wearing like a hooded sweatshirt, and you said the Palm Tree Willie, and I remember this very clearly because I asked you what the difference was between the two. And you were like, Get that pipe and pipe a guy. I'll pipe him. You said that the Palm Tree Willie was the jerk while he was on vacation. Oh, dang it. Oh, really? So yeah. it was like a. The yeah. same character. So it's like a Cactus Jack. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You were like, you're like, you're like, it's the same guy. It's just this Palm Tree Willie's him on vacation. That's because I'm a character actor. Even in the wrestling world. Even and when I'm a character, I'm the a character. One, the one match you had as Palm Tree Willie was against my my younger brother. You wrestled, You were like 19. Yeah, but it's probably like three times my he weight. He was. You were like 19, right? You wrestled a 13-year-old kid that was twice your size. Yeah, and I probably took him down too. Uh, you did beat him. You did. A, you were the only person that could do a backflip. So we're like, we're like, that's great. You could do a moonsault. Yeah. So we just had you do a moonsault off my picnic table yeah. onto my brother because my brother, being 13, was just like, yeah, he can do that onto me. I don't care. Pretty 13, you let anything happen. Yeah. To you. And that is why we let you win. Otherwise, my brother would have won. But we were like, wait, no, he can do a backflip. We gotta let him win. I remember my finishing move as Palm Tree Willie. Really. I had multiple. Did you hit, Didn't you hit him had, with a coconut or something? I had the coconut crush, which was basically I did like a backflip and landed on them with my crotch, so my coconuts crushed them. Taking that turkey. I think you and had then a I had, the too. I had the tsunami surprise. Jack. Uh, which I like was like a I kind of shaped like a big tsunami wave. And then landed on them again. I, I, I have that. This I, is so easy. Yeah, it's pretty I'm easy. I'm just jamming it with the pipe. The pipe usually like breaks and fades away, but it's not happening. I need to. Uh, I need to have my brother send me that tape so I can put it on DVD or whatever. And, like, yeah, throw that online. That'd be funny. I mean, it would be funny just to see that. I know that. Uh, I think we had two matches with you. Oh dang I think it! The two matches you were in. I think you you wrestled Mike Doyle and you wrestled my brother. And you wrestled Mike Doyle as the jerk. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Oh yeah, Mike Doyle. I remember. It was like Mike. I remember doing it at his house, at Mike's house. That was the time we were the jerk. Okay. 
And then I, there was one time when you took out the equipment from Kara, the, the cable access And we lady, broke the bag. And you broke the bag and she was wicked mad. I got fired from That's being a That's so friend. weird because she's so nice and soft-spoken and so attractive. It's she weird to think of her. She was so attractive. But she was probably only like 24 or something. She like, seems so old. Yeah, to high schoolers, a 24-year-old seems like an old adult. I like but Man, I, yeah. she was such a babe. I would love to see her now. Actually, she probably looks pretty good. She's probably my age now. She's probably, I, I probably she, caught up, right? You probably have well, hair and hair wise. Hair wise, she's yeah. Probably, physically. She's, 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 she's probably I'm, way. I'm, I'm looking at her dad now. She's probably way more bald than you now. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely more bald. She was older than me. She was like. 10 years older than me. I just want to point something out right now. You guys can't see this, but I have more, my beard uh, on my face right now, I have more facial hair in my beard than Nathan has on his whole body. Well, you could have, no, my whole body. You could have stubble on your head and you could have more on your face and you could have more on your face than my head. That's true. There's a uh, barb on. These girls are so attractive. Electra. You can, see their, you can see their abs. There's like a cool line to their abs. See when she walks, you can see it flexing. I love that. I'm you're always paying, like looking at her paying, abs. You're paying way too close Look, to you see, there. when I'm punching her, you can see when she stretches back, you can see them. Oh, she's such streets a hot of, female. Streets of Rage. Promoting violence against women. <laughs> yep. But all these beat em ups did. But and, it's like, and it makes teenage boys super horny. Look at that soft embrace we just had. That was a nice. cool dance routine we had. That was, that was nice. That was nice, nice. Choreography. This music's pretty pretty jazzy at the yeah. bar. It's, it's about to get really intense after like five more kicks to her face. Come on. Yeah, this game really was, uh, really was a good one. All the streets are racing. Oh, right dang! Though. I let her get me! Did you ever play Fighting Force? Yeah. Just the uh, one Nintendo 64 or PlayStation or whatever? Yeah. The you 3D know, one. It's, it's basically a 3D Streets of, streets of Rage. You know right? that it was supposed to be Streets of Rage, That's right. right. I didn't know that. And then they just... And then they turned into a different it. game, yeah. Someone out there made a... Uh, street, I want to yeah, play some right. hacked games, because someone made a Streets of Rage 4 hack game, and it's I, awesome. I love this part where he's coming, come on! Yeah. Is, I, try, wait, I try to beat these guys up before we go too far, so then we can get them out of our way. This is one of my... Before he jumps. Let these guys come to us. Ah, oh, dang it. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. The music... All the boss music is really good, too. I'm eating all the food. Boom. It's pretty easy. Did you set this to easy? No, I didn't set it to anything. That's hit start. Huh. It's probably on normal. I remember this being a lot harder. Oh, taking down the whole gang. Boom. We played Street to Rage 3, not 1 or 2, right? We played 3 on the first time we ever did a Let's Play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turbo. Boom, get out of my face, you jackass! So this, let's, so this Let's Play series, Jam That Turbo, we decided to bring it back with the sole goal of it being the most popular one on YouTube. So. <laughs> Good luck! Yeah, I mean... If you think about it, though, we're not like our competition isn't like isn't very fierce. Like, no, it's not very steep. We don't have much against us. There's really like we don't have all of YouTube. Well, that's what YouTube is. YouTube should just be called like Let's Play PlayTube. Let's yeah. PlayTube. I'm sure that everybody in the people will leave comments now saying, "But what about Twitch, guys? You could you could be." Live I already got a bunch. People want be, me to put. Oh, look at that embrace. I love that embrace. You could be live streaming. Oh, dang me! Yeah, that's not embrace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a disgrace. That's the headache. You got yeah. People, oh, I keep it in the jam. I don't know. Power. With uh, with Game Slam, we do it on Twitch, and then we repost it. But like, but you did did like trim it down for YouTube or something? We trim it down and we we put. Because how, how long is your Twitch? Like an hour? It usually goes an hour, but I mean with. But that, I've seen hour long let's plays on YouTube. Yeah, I I don't I, understand who would watch that. Well, I mean, I guess there's people up there, but I only watch like 15 minutes worth. So I've been doing 15 minutes on the Nay plays. But well, we we put the trims in just because we don't want to put like. We want to take out any ah. sort of like uh, any sort of like gaps or like holes in the in the video. Like yeah, if there's like any if, like if there's loading any loading and stuff, or just anything where it's like, like there's no one's like talking. yeah nobody's talking. And we're like we're like lo we're like loading up the footage or whatever. Um, I don't want to have, have non-stop action. When I play, I do nay play. I try to play stuff that makes me like go insane. So am I like, constantly flipping out? I like the I, uh, I was, like last night. I tried to do one and it messed up. So I didn't get to finish it. Yeah, I did a. Uh, uh, more outlast and I lost oh, my yeah, voice because yeah. I went to the haunted house my voice is even rough now I went to the haunted house last night at Universal or I went to Universal Studios or whatever was it and overpriced and not worth it it was wicked good and totally worth it yeah. it was pretty expensive though but we didn't wait in line for one second it's so like, we got 100, it's like 100 bucks 150 to get in. 150 dollars to get in but we didn't in? wait in line at all we were there for like 3 hours we did everything it was super scary super fun I made 150 dollars this year it was <laughs> it was awesome that's um, that's way too much money. That's crazy. What's his name was there? Uh, uh, Scott Pilgrim director. 
Oh, Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright was there, and he was tweeting about the maze we were in. We're like, oh, man, he's here right now. You see how awesome guy, it was. What is he? I can't get this The dirt bikes are the guys are the worst. Got they're they're the best because dirt bikes are tight, but they're the worst because they're super annoying. This is where they get the idea for trials. <laughs> it might just, hey, a dirt bike in a video game. They're like, they're like we could put a dirt bike in a video game. By sure, that's, by I'm sure guy. that's how it happened. So oh, dang it. We, we have good news about Pipe a Guy, so Button Smashers is coming back. Yeah, doing Button Smashers and Jam That Turbo. So I want to do Turbos back. on Tuesday, so it's Turbo Tuesday. We should do Turbos on Tuesday. So tomorrow, you guys will hear this in a couple hours from now. And then doing be, this, this is Monday or night right now. Then there'll be subsequent ones on Tuesdays following. We'll be jamming. We'll be jamming all until Nathan gets bored of being on YouTube again. <laughs> yeah. Or until I get too busy, and then right. I come crawling back. Because I'm too bored, and I got too many ideas, and I gotta get stuff done. Yeah. That's, I mean, you're That's busy. usually how it works, though, right? I mean, you're pretty busy. You're, you've been a pretty busy guy, so I, I, don't, I don't blame you for not doing oh, it, too. Yeah, I just didn't have the time, physically. Yeah. I have been sort of busy. <laughs> not really, but... Dealing with life situations. I've been dealing with life situations, but also, uh, game sleep, surprisingly, is a lot of work. Because I, I write a lot of the material, and, like, I help them out with whatever and like it's mostly Chris but I, I do invest a lot of time into that as well so yeah. uh, and I've been trying to film some stuff too like I there there is some more Tom centric stuff that is coming so That's more cool. more Chandrians and things of that nature so yeah, I just have to find the time to edit them because that's the biggest pain yeah editing as well I just I edit stuff the night I shoot it I can't do it I did that Bryce guy the new video Bryce Onan I shot I edited three videos after we shot for like three hours and yeah. I ended up getting three videos out of it so we went all over I, get I too did all three that night I was up till three in the morning I get too distracted like I start playing games or like watching movies or whatever and I, I, I just get too distracted I do it right when I get home because that's when I'm like thinking about the footage and I'm pumped about it and I want to like see it and otherwise if I wait a day I'll get like into something else if I film a video it is guaranteed to be up three months later yeah and that, that's usually the way it goes I'll get mine up three minutes later three minutes Three months, but I don't know. It's easy with the game plan stuff because that's like I'm on a schedule. I'm like I, I like I know that it's gonna be Wednesday and it's gonna be ready, and then I can just repost it. Yeah. That's like easy. Everything else is like extra, extra. Yeah, dang it. Everything else is just frosting on the cake. What are you being for Halloween? Halloween uh, is this week. I know. I'm just gonna be a skeleton guy. <laughs> the go-to skeleton guy. Yeah. The 80s skeleton guy. I was gonna be more like the Donnie Darko skeleton guy. That's the same thing. It's the same, yeah. It's 80 skeleton guy, because that was in the 80s. That's true. Um, yeah. You want, you want that turkey? I'm being a skeleton guy, and uh, uh, Antoinette's being uh, Maleficent, so should be should be pretty good. That's cool. Yeah. I'm going to be Frankie again. Uh, that, costume, that costume is disturbing. That costume is awesome. It is so spot on. It was no. That lady did such a good job it's, of it's made too, it. It's too weird. It's it's way too weird. It's awesome. To base yourself on this decrepit little mongrel. Frankie thing. is the best. I made a, I had a costume made of my dog, it's too, Frankie. It's not your dog. It was basically your girl, my your dog. dog your it's my adopted son. Oh my god, Siobhan that's stupid. Name. Bones' his dog. My girlfriend's name is Bones. And uh, her dog's name is Frankie. And I made a mask. I'm going to post a picture of it on Halloween. Um, and I'm, it's like so good. It's it weird. Exactly like him. The, the mask so made weird. the mask. I sent so many pictures of the dog, and the dog has like this funky tooth that sticks out of his mouth. She made it exactly like him. It's so cool. So I need to get my money's worth and wear it again this year. I guess Frankie's all right, but somebody has to brush. Frankie's the best. Somebody has to brush his teeth more. He gets often. them medically cleaned. He's his breath smells so bad though. Well, that's just his dang dog breath. Yeah, but not all dogs have dang dog breath. Oh, uh, uh, they're dogs. They're all dogs got dang you dog brush, breath. You brush their teeth. You dad brush the dang dog teeth. It's still gonna brush like that. Smell like dang dog teeth. No, my. You brush it with like bacon toothpaste. It's not gonna smell good. My dog's breath smelled like crisp. <laughs> you you brushing it with human toothpaste? Why not? I guess you can, but it's still dog breath. They lick their. Zach brushes his teeth. He's basically a dog. You brush a dog's teeth and it licks its anus in four seconds and it stinks again. My dog at class. <laughs> yeah, right. Top class. Top of his class. <laughs> Are we gonna go through this whole game? I figured that that's probably... We could get through this game in 45 minutes, probably. We're, we're never going to do it, though, because we stink in every the, game I've there is. I've been this game before. How do you throw the knife? I don't remember. Uh, you press up and Oh, attack. no, I think it's A. I think it's both buttons, B and C. I'm going to try like it. That. Not me. All right, ready? See that? See that they got all these chepins sleeping on the benches? 
Oh, I don't know how to do it. I can't believe that we filmed, we were talking about this the other day. We filmed the last Button Smashers like three years ago. I'm definitely doing Button Smashers again, I have to. Can you believe that? I want that to be one of my new videos for on my regular channel. We t well, like, we've we've talked about tons of ideas for that show, we just never, we never filmed well, more. Hey, we don't have a van anymore, because Chepin's not yeah, homeless we, anymore. Yeah, but you're rich, you can rent one. I'm not rich, I could rent one. No, I do have a van, that's right, I keep forgetting. Every time we talk about this, I'm like, oh, we don't have a van. And then Guys. two seconds later, I remember, we do have a van. If you saw the adult swim, bare knuckle. if you saw the, uh, I want one of these so bad. It's so cool to have an actual bare knuckle cabinet. Guys, Nathan showed me his check today. He got a check for 13 cents. I don't have a check for 13 cents. <laughs> yeah, I got residual, you too. a residual for 13 so cents. So you too. It's the lowest check I've ever yeah. gotten. So if you guys want to be rich and move out to Hollywood, California, <laughs> you can you too can get checks for 13 cents. I should post a picture of that one. You it's definitely should. You should mail it to a fan. Yeah, anyone want my Paris. 13 cent check? You Leave can have your, it. So whoever, Care of Hollywood. <laughs> whoever leaves the best comment will get Nathan's check for 13 cents. You won't be a check. I'll have to sign it over to he'll them. He'll sign it over and you'll get 13 cents. You can buy. Can you buy anything? You can buy nothing. You can buy a slap in the face. I think you can buy a. You can buy like the mini. You York give store. that check to anyone and they'll spit on you. I think you have to go to the little store in Medway and you can buy a York's for the mini York's peppermint batty. Yeah. But yeah, you could go to like a penny candy store and get 13 candies. A penny candy costs a quarter now. Ah, yeah, dang, you can't even get a, you can get a nibble of a piece of penny candy. You can give it to a homeless person. You can person. sniff a Hershey's Kiss for 13 cents. This just sounds gross. So if you want to be sniffing someone's old candy, we'll send you the check. <laughs> I thought about giving out my brother's phone number on this episode, too. Oh, you should do it. Should we? He was mad. Oh, about, when people nailed Oh, and someone stuff? commented recently on my Facebook or somewhere, the guy who nailed those toenails, because I, I made a post about how I was actually impressed with my toenail clipping. Oh, so I clipped my toenails the other day, and they looked good. Like, they were so round and perfect. I did a, I got in really deep on the corners. I've been going to the salon. It looks so good. I went once. I went to a toe, a man of uh, pedicure place. At first, I was a bunch a little, of Asian ladies yeah. running my feet. It was awesome. Well, at first, I was a little like, I don't know if I want to do this. My my my, uh, my girlfriend was like, she's like, I'm gonna get it done. She's like, so she's like, she's like, you should just get it done too. You're here. You're waiting for me. And I was like, all right, why not? It's and, yeah, so cool. People it, were, it feels people, great. I love it. But like, yeah, but like they so they, like they. They soak it in like warm like salt. They scrub it with a cool they scrubby scrub thing. You. They I, massage them. They clip them. Say what you will. I I felt I felt pretty good after. Hey, everybody's got to take care of their dang feet. I'm just taking Even care. Even a man. I'm just especially taking, a man. I, I, yeah, exactly. Like dudes have gross feet. Yeah, make them not gross, and you ladies will want to touch them. I mean, I don't know about that. But. Or touch you anywhere. I touch the feet. It leads to something else. Yeah, the, the leg. Yeah, the, the calf. Leads, the, no, the ankle. Leads to the ankle, Get bro. some sweet ankle action. <laughs> hey, man, I'll take touches anywhere from Any, anyone. Anytime I think of somebody... Well, my any, girlfriend, I guess. <laughs> any, anytime I picture somebody just, like, groping somebody inappropriately, I think of your brother for some reason. Jeff? Yeah, I just picture somebody, like, creeping, touching. Like, I picture Seth hiding underneath the bench just, like, groping at people's, yeah. like, legs or something. Drooling. <laughs> yeah. Remember that idea we wanted to do? Which one? When you had your old girlfriend. When you had your old girlfriend as if it was like a device. Get, stop embracing me. I can't help it. It's too... too, too Ooh! You're, 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 My you're, first you're, death right there. You're embracing me! Stop it! Oh. Can't help it. You're so attractive. All right. So what was the pro what were we gonna do with my You're, when my we were old... dating Ashley? Uh huh. What were we gonna do? Seth wanted to like when you guys were gonna fool around. Seth was gonna lay under your bed. Oh, the switch. And no, then the, he was no, out no, 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 no. He was reach his arm no, up no. around the bed, and she would think it was his hand. No, this was her all boob. right. Your, so, so, your hand so, your so let me let me backtrack here. This was not Seth's idea. Jared has had this idea for years. Oh, our friend Jared. And Jared calls it like the switch or something. So our friend Jared thinks that it is totally appropriate. To hide underneath his friend's beds, and then once the when lights are fooling around with your girlfriend, while, while some while somebody's fooling around with their girlfriend or a girl or whatever, and then the lights go out, so it's super dark in the room, and then you would tag the other person in, and like you would sneak under the bed, and then Jared would sneak into your bed. No, you roll off the bed. The yeah, other oh person yeah. rolls out from under it. No, 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 no. Jared, I remember now. Jared called it the earthquake because you the earthquake. Ah, because you because you, you, you fake like like whoa whoa and fall off the bed. The earthquake. No, oh, that's such a good excuse. And then, like, he, you'd, he, you would fall off the bed. You would roll under. Jared would roll out. It's like, oh, sorry, I fell off the bed Jared, from that earthquake. Jared, Jared and she's would, like, it's okay. Yeah, Jared would just reach his arm out and grope a little bit, and then you would come back in the bed. Oh, yeah, so you got free touch. So Jared would get a free touch of some, some of boobs or whatever. All care, care of the earthquake. All care of the earthquake. And something that would never actually work. Oh, it's such a good Actually, idea, it would, it would That's like work. an 80s movie move. 
But like, if that ever happened with Jared, Jared's super buff. It's like, the girl would touch Jared's arm and be like, wow, in the past five and seconds, you've gotten super buff. Jared has sandpaper for hands. Yeah, super Because he rough. works out all the time, so his hands are all ripped up from dumbbelling. So his hands would be so callous, and she'd be like, ew, what is this, like, lizard that's grabbing my hands? Oh, I threw him, a in, you into him. Yeah. That was tight. Don't do that. I need those vibes. <laughs> I'm kill hey, watch knife, it. Knife I'm fighting Beano over here. Knife a guy. Boom. Yeah, that's Darn. a good move. You gotta do that. Thank <laughs> you.